Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've been letting you know about an ongoing saga, as I've mentioned on the channel. We're following the installation of the June 2025 non-security update for Windows 11 24H2. So that would be this update, KB5060829. Security event logs, according to Microsoft, might include an error event related to Windows Firewall with advanced security, which according to Microsoft could be safely ignored. And this is your firewall advanced security and advanced settings, which is also a legacy aspect of the operating system. And there was an error in the event viewer regarding this issue. And your event viewer, as you may well also know, is another legacy part of the operating system. So the error is found in event view as event 2042 for Windows Firewall with advanced security. And as mentioned previously, Microsoft said you could ignore it and it wasn't actually doing any harm to your system. It was just a bug, an issue that had to be resolved. Now, this became an official known issue. And then Microsoft had mentioned that they had fixed it with a previous update, which I did post on. And then Microsoft, over on their known issues health dashboard page, had mentioned that they'd made a mistake in their communication and it wasn't actually fixed. So that caused a bit of a headache and a, a scratching of the head. And now once again, Microsoft has mentioned on the known issues health dashboard page that the issue is resolved in the July 2025 Windows non-security update, which I've just posted on. I'll leave the video for this update linked, KB5062660, and any later updates. And it recommends you install this update because it contains important improvements and issue resolutions, including this one. Now, I will say only install the update if you have problems with the system, else ignore these optional updates because they are known to cause issues. So if you have experienced the firewall problem, then install the update. Now, the reason I'm letting you know about this in a separate video, because I did touch on this in the update video I posted earlier today, is because I have posted three or four videos regarding this issue, and I thought it warranted its own separate video, just because obviously it has gained a bit of interest. And just on a side note, Microsoft does say that this disclosure was mistakenly updated to resolved status on July 8, as I posted. I'll actually leave that video linked for what it's worth. And the issue was resolved on July 22nd. And once again, Microsoft says, we apologize for any inconvenience or confusion. So hopefully this time it has been patched because the previous update that was supposed to have patched it, as mentioned, um, did not solve the issue. So hopefully this update, which is our non-security update for July 2025, has now actually solved the issue. But as I say with Microsoft, only time will tell. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.